Hey everyone, Niall Doherty here from $50blogs.net. Today I'll be showing you how to update your WordPress plugins. And let's jump straight into it here. I am on our $50blogs demo site, which is located at demo.50blogs.net, as you can see up at the top here. I'm also logged in here in another tab uh, into this site, and I've loaded up the plugins page. As you can see from the little yellow notices here, several plugins have updates available. And to update a plugin like this display widgets plugin, for example, all we have to do is click the update automatically link and we let WordPress do the work for us. Okay, so as you can see there, it has downloaded the update, installed the latest version, removed the old version, etc. etc. Plugin updated successfully and it's reactivating the plugin because it was activated at first. If you're updating a plugin that is not active on your blog, well then you won't see that message. But here we see plugin reactivated successfully. Now that's the quick and easy way to update a plugin and that will work for you with no issues most of the time. But you might be wondering if updating plugins this way could cause you to lose any of your plugin settings. Now that's not such a big deal for many plugins that only have one or two options that you can play with. But for some plugins you can spend hours configuring them only to have everything wiped out once you do update. So if you want to be a little more careful about your plugin updates and avoid some headaches, I suggest you keep watching this video. Just to emphasize that again, what can sometimes happen when you update a plugin is that you lose all the settings for that plugin and you have to start over again from scratch trying to remember how you had the plugin set up before the update. Okay, now to understand why this sometimes happens and to avoid it happening to you in the future, a little explanation is in order. Uh, let me go back to plugins here while we're talking. Okay, so there are two parts to a WordPress plugin. Uh, there's the code and the data. And we're going to talk about your plugin code first. So if you were to look at your WordPress file structure, which I'm going to look at right here. Okay, so this is the file structure for demo.50.blogs.net. So if you are to look at this, uh, you'd see that inside the WP content directory, which is this one, you have a plugins directory. So let's open that one up. Now in there you have a directory or sometimes just a single file for each plugin on your website, uh, regardless of whether it's activated or deactivated. So each file or directory in here co contains all the code for a specific plugin. Most of the time when you update a plugin, all that's changing is this code. Let's look in there, okay, so a PHP file. Now, so as long as you haven't made any modifications to any of that code, the update will run smoothly and you won't lose anything. But now let's talk about the second part of a WordPress plugin. And that's its data or the plugin settings you might refer to it as. Uh, usually you modify the plugin data via settings or options screen in WordPress, like this one here for a plugin called Redirection. Now all that data is stored in your WordPress database. Some plugins will create new tables in your database to store the data and some will just use an existing table. Now many WordPress plugin developers are pretty smart and so when an update calls for changes to the database, they make, sh they make sure that none of your data is wiped out during the update process. However, some plugin developers are not so considerate and so to be 100% certain that your plugin settings aren't lost forever when you update, you should make sure you have a recent backup of your database first, just in case the worst does happen. Now, you might think it's a bit extreme to back up your whole database every time you want to update a plugin, and I would tend to agree with you on that. So here's what I suggest. Uh, don't update just one plugin at a time. Instead, wait until you have at least three or four plugins requiring updates, and then update them all in one session. Because that way, one fresh backup of your database will suffice for multiple plugin updates. And a second tip then is to check the update version details. Usually a plugin will have a change log so you can see what's changed. Like, let's look at the, uh, that here for the redirection plugin. So once this loads up, we'd have to go into change log, or sometimes it will have a log of the changes down here at the bottom of the description tab. But let's go into change log. 
and we can see a list of changes for each new version of this plugin. If the new version uh, mentions anything about changes to the database, uh, best be safe then and make sure you have a fresh database backup before you update. So you see here, better database compat. I'm not even sure what that means, but it mentions the database, so you'd be better off having a backup of your database before you go and install that update of the plugin. And by the way, if you're wondering how to back up your WordPress installation or how to restore your database to a previous version, I go into plenty of detail about all that in some previous screencasts. So make sure you check those out. All right, so that will do it for this screencast. Once again, I am Niall Doherty from 50dollarblogs.net. Check out 50dollarblogs.net slash blog for lots more screencasts and sign up for email updates here in the right sidebar. By doing that, you'll get a heads up on any special offers related to the $50 blogs service. Plus, you'll get advance notice of live support sessions where you can get all your blogging rate of problems solved and questions answered absolutely free.